On today's Go Angling Location Guide, we're going to talk about what you need to look for to troll spinners over the top of weeds for walleyes midsummer. Uh, now, first things first, uh, let's talk about where you want to start your search. Uh, not all weed beds are created equal. Uh, if you think back to the um, uh, start of the season, there was a lot of good walleye activity in shallow bays with mud bottoms. Uh, they're not very deep, and uh, those will quickly warm up. Those are not the type of areas we're talking about for a midsummer presentation. Uh, what we want to stress is you're really, you're really going to need access to some deeper water. And of course, deeper water is all relative, but look for uh, weed lines, uh, weedy flats that drop off sharply in the deeper water. Could it be 15 feet, could it be 35 feet, but definitely start your search there versus some isolated back bay that has really good weed growth. You're going to find a lot more walleyes in the areas that I've described. Now, let's talk approach. How does some and go about uh, getting into uh, pulling these uh, spinner rigs over the top of these weeds without spending all day long trolling every weed flat in the entire lake. Uh, really the key is side imaging and that we took a lot of good uh, side imaging screen captures today to give you an idea of what to look for. Uh, so start your search on the outside edge of these weed lines. You're going to be using your side imaging. Uh, we're going to include a couple uh, examples of what you need to be looking for to target those wolf packs of walleyes that PJ and I were uh, talking about throughout today's shoot. Once you've found those wolf packs, what you're really looking for is those hard shadows underneath those fish that tell you they're active, they're aggressive, they're up off the bottom. If those uh, shadows weren't there, that would tell you those fish were tight to bottom and probably not active. And then of course, you're going to want to be prepared to adjust where you're fishing relative to the weed line as you move throughout the course of the day. Early in the day, late in the day, you're probably going to be uh, shallower up over the top of the weeds. Um, uh, the weed line we were fishing today was real sharp, real noticeable, about eight and a half foot of water. Uh, early and late, that's where the activity was. Midday, we were actually off the edge of the weeds. Uh, there was still some very sparse bottom cover, about one foot tall, and we had walleyes midday, even with very little wind, that were actively feeding in that location. So put these tips to use. Uh, if you've got walleyes and weeds kind of coming together in your favorite body of water, this is a midsummer gem that almost always produces. For additional content related to this video, check out these videos. And don't forget to subscribe to In-Depth Outdoors and Gander Outdoors so you'll never miss a new video.